The show starts in five minutes. From Gilbert Autorama comes the excitement and competition of the famous Indianapolis Speedway, featuring the exclusive new Gilbert Flyover Chicane. Watch the stock cars in slow motion. Up and go. Gilbert makes cars rugged enough to take this kind of punishment. And look at the great assortment of Gilbert cars to choose from. The roughest, toughest, most realistic cars on the road. Past the timer, through the lap counter. Now with stock cars up to the Gilbert flyover chicane. Only this time in midair, the cars change lanes. And look, just like that, your Gilbert car track can become a horse race track with these exclusive lively trotters. Get all these Indianapolis Speedway extras separately and be sure to get your complete Gilbert Autorama layout. Look at Gilbert toys first. They last. The show starts in four minutes. Wonderful anniversary, dear, and thank you for the flowers. You're welcome, darling. But if you could do one thing for me. What? Try to do something about your coffee. I hoped it would be better today. Tastes good as fresh burnt, because it is. away from the start of our next feature. Still time to visit our refreshment stand. Folks, and a hearty welcome to our drive-in theater. We have a wonderful evening's entertainment lined up for you, one that will provide several hours of pleasurable relaxation and diversion for you and your family. Did you fail to dress up for tonight's show? Mm -hmm. No tie, an old shirt and slacks, a house dress? <laughs> well, don't give it a thought. We're glad you came as you are. We just want you to enjoy yourselves. Don't forget to visit our refreshment center during the intermission or any time. You love the oh, tasty array of wow. snacks we have to offer. So will the youngsters. Everything is quality and mm -hmm, so good. We hope you'll make this a weekly visit. Bring the family. Bring your friends. There are always wonderful new pictures to see. Delightful snacks to nibble. A gay, pleasant evening for all. Oh, a word of caution. Don't drive over 10 miles an hour in the theater area for your safety's sake. And mom or pop, go with the kids when they leave the car. We hope you have a wonderful time. Come back soon. Here's the thing. Hair that grows, hair that goes to here, to there, to anywhere you like. It goes. Here's new velvet. Her hair grows, just like her cousin, beautiful Chrissy. You can make velvet hair short or make it grow. Hair that grows, hair that goes to here, to there, it grows. Schmidt's Blue Ribbon Bread gives you seven ounces of non-fat milk solids in every loaf. The equal of 90 quarts a year if you serve it regularly. Every sandwich you make, every snack, gives you extra milk. For wonderful flavor combined with sound food values, serve Schmidt's Blue Ribbon Bread in the pantry pack. And 
now, oh, ladies and gentlemen, wow. time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last minute treat. Hello, everybody. Am I, uh, can you, can you hear me? <laughs> oh, awesome, Lupin. What up, Drew Crew? I got to install the game. I haven't installed the, I haven't installed the game yet. A little late today, uh, but that's because I was uh, filming a movie review with Luke. Uh, MJ Cam is here, but MJ is not here. She bailed right before, right before we started. Maybe she'll drop in later. Luke's doing good. He had a good uh, chat. I won't spoil the movie uh, of which we spoke, but it is a movie. <laughs> All right. Hopefully all the sound and everything is working just fine. We are installing mm -hmm. Nancy Drew's Secret of the Scarlet Hand. Um, we are skipping number five. We just played number four, uh, Treasure in the Royal Tower. I played number five a while ago. So if you'd like to see my playthrough, that's on uh, Moose 2. But I've decided if I've played it and there's a VOD of it, we're just going to skip over it for now. I can always come back and play other ones uh, later. But I'd rather play something new. How are you guys doing? What up, Sean? What up, Jimmy? Hey there, Danny. Hello, Hanima. Thank you for the 58 months. Nikki, 3451. Thank you for the 23 months. Doing some big munching. What are we munching on? I just had a, uh, I had a, in, in between filming the movie review and this, I had a quick Red Baron uh, pepperoni French bread. Ooh, ooh, I just bought a big old box of those for quick lunches. I probably, I'm eating a lot of pizza lately, but oh, I love pizza. Parzafal, thank you for the 27 months. Ooh, popcorn chicken. Yeah, the French buds are super good. I wish the installer had some music. I don't have any music to play right now, so you're just going to have to listen to me uh, mumble into the microphone while I chug my G Fuel for energy. I have my notepad here. I'm ready. I'm ready. Pizza Moose. Oh, wow. I'll do a pizza spinoff channel. You didn't come here to listen to me. <laughs> Uh, Stero Lar, thank you for the 15 months. SGS 404, thank you for the 40 months. Time to settle in for some Nance pants. Do the Nance dance with your Nance pants. Will I turn on sleuth mode? Uh, I don't think I have sleuth mode set up, but I will just... I'm looking at uh, chat on a little tablet here. And if I if I want to ignore you guys, I'll just, I'll just turn it over. <laughs> I'll turn it over or I just like won't look. You're on TV. Bounce good. Thank you for the six months. Aero Stella, thank you for the prime sub. Ignoring more than I already do. It's true. I I do too. When I get drawn into a game, I you know, I, I'm pretty chatty in Nancy Drew, I feel like. But when I start trying to figure something out, I, I stop looking. Uh, one, so I, can, I can't focus on more than one thing at the same time. But uh, also, you guys like to make guesses. Can't risk. Can't risk any guesses. Yeah, chat can't be trusted. Coinage here. That's big money. Excellent. Oh, Vanna. You never beat this game? This, is, this one's not going to be hard, is it? Sam Dub 1. 
Thank you so much for the $15. Good to see you. Moose, you're making my week. I'm so hyped for more Nancy and will hopefully be here for the whole ride. I hope so, Sam Dub. Um, this will be a, a regular two, two, three hour stream to get started here. I wouldn't be surprised if I run out of gas towards the end just because I already filmed today. Um, but I'll be back Wednesday and Friday if it's not, uh, if we're not done. Can't be harder than a bug hunt. I still think I made the bug hunt harder than it had to be. I don't think it was. Now this one's educational. Uh, <laughs> I didn't sign up to learn things here. Povey 55. Thank you for the 35 months. I hope Nancy remembers what she drew. I don't have my soundboard or I'd... That's too far. I was going to reach, but... If I do any reaching, I'm going to, like, pull a muscle or something. I'm too old to be, you know, reaching around for things. Indigo Fizz, thank you for the nine months. Can't wait to catch, catch the VOD. I'll be too far in to join once I get my boy to sleep. Julie Sue, 2083, thank you for the 29 months. Soundboard for my iPad. I mean, I have the, like, stream deck. I could put some sounds on here, too. It's just, like, another thing I got to do. I'm almost done with my website update. Oh, my God. I've been I've been working on this website update for so long. And it's really... I mean, it's a big difference, I guess. But it's not, like, a huge difference. Uh, But I'm... Oh, man. Again, I'm so close. We're skipping five because we've already played five. Uh, Super Junior Trash. Oh, Wow. Before I started playing them all in order, I was just like randomly pl I randomly played a few. And this was one of the last ones that I played before I decided to do it in order, I think. Five was uh five was the final scene. Yeah, we're skipping seven and eight two. Um assuming I have VODs of both of those. I know there's one that I recorded that I did not I wasn't recording VODs at the time or something so I'll have to replay that one now we're going to pass on the ghost dogs <laughs> we're going to pass soft crisps thank you for the 52 months Sam Dub one thank you for the 38 months oh I'm glad everyone's so excited for more Nancy Drew I, I wasn't going to let it be as big of a, a gap as last time and I feel like uh Everybody got through Saw with me, so I, I think another another Nancy Drew has been earned <laughs> at this point. All right. Real quick, I would like to thank Bite Finnick for the nine months, Moss Badger for the ten months, Arise Sunday for the 22 months, 8-Bit Kitty Cat for the 38 months, Don't Call Me Hi... For the 15 months, Chronostalgia for the 6 months, Misk Halcyon for the 9 months, Ethereal Dova for the 12 months, Pasta for Cats for the 24 months, Eldrick Dildos for the 8 months, Ace Door Mouse for the 50 months, and Silver EXVII. Thank you for the 18 months. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, so much. I'm so happy you guys are here for Nancy Drew. Let's settle in. What, what are we, what do I, what am I thinking here? Secret of the Scarlet Hand. The box is like, it's a, I, can you even see that? It's like a red, it's a smaller one here. I just have the, I have a collection. It's like a big red old handprint in front of like a gate. I don't know, some, someone probably stole something. Someone usually, <laughs> someone usually steals something. Yeah, or does she solve like any crazy murders or is it always kind of like a theft i know what ducks want thank you for the 15 months and joy malee thank you so much for the 31 months joy all right let's see let's let me let me know if the volume's okay okay i want it to be loud enough to be heard when i'm not babbling it does not seem very loud That does not seem very loud. Give me a second. Mm -hmm.
Okay, I might have to adjust that during the uh, the intro, but that should be audible, right? Audible but quiet. Oh, wow. Will be better. Dear Dad, greetings from the new deputy curator at Beecho Museum. That's gotta be loud, right? I miss you, by the way. How's Africa? I sure hope this letter reaches you in Wagaduga before you move on to Nairobi. So I got the internship. Your old friend Franklin Rose was oh, awfully nice to wow. submit my name to the rest. How's that? She really misses her dad, okay? What an opportunity while well, I'm in between cases. As you probably know, the museum specializes in Are we good? Maya culture. Good? My supervisor is going to be Joanna Riggs, a well-known Good or bad? Maybe yeah, don't listen to any of this. Recently, in conjunction with the discovery of a strange Maya monolith. Apparently Okay, cool. All right, well, if it's ever too loud or too quiet, just, like, yell at me and I'll fix it, you know? I ignored the spoilers. I wasn't listening to shit. Welcome to my latest case, Secret of the Scarlet Hand. To start playing, choose either junior or senior detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose tutorial. Okay, I'm going to... Click uh, Senior Detective. I think we're going to play Senior Detective here. Dear Dad, greetings from the new Deputy Curator at Beecho Museum in Washington, D.C. I miss you, by the way. How's Africa? I sure hope this letter reaches you in Ouagadougou before you move on to Nairobi. So I got the internship. Your old friend Franklin Rose was awfully nice to submit my name to the rest of the members of the museum's board of directors. What an opportunity while well, I'm in between cases. As you probably know, the museum specializes in ancient Maya culture. My supervisor is going to be Joanna Riggs, a well-known archaeologist. My oh Maya. Came in the news recently in conjunction with the discovery of a strange Maya monolith. Apparently, it's created quite a buzz among experts in the field. Well, Beach Hill plans to feature the monolith in an upcoming exhibition. Just imagine, this artifact has been buried for hundreds of years, and now it's going to be unveiled to the public for the first time. The museum is short-staffed at the moment, and they're expecting such a huge turnout that they've closed their doors to prepare. I can hardly wait to dig into this exciting project and learn how archaeologists and historians solve the mysteries of ancient cultures. I'll keep you posted. Love, Nancy. Nancy Drew, I presume. I'm Joanna Riggs. Welcome to Beach Hill. I was just checking the lock on this display case. This is one of the museum's most treasured pieces, a carving of King Pakal. Who is King Pakal? Pakal assumed the throne at age 12. Can you imagine? That was 615 AD. He ruled for 68 years at the height of the Maya civilization. Is that jade? Yes, the Maya loved jade and used it for many of their carvings. There isn't another piece like this in the world, and it's priceless, which means I practically had to sell my own grandmother to get it. How did the museum acquire it? <laughs> Leave it to Taylor Sinclair. He's a wizard when it comes to these deals. You'll meet him later. Dude. Now then, Nancy, you're coming on board at a critical time for Beach Hill. An exhibit of this caliber is not kid stuff. Franklin Rose assures me you're a real trooper, and I hope he's right because I'm not here to babysit. I don't care who your father is. Dude, the animation is nuts and also did we not already do this like wasn't there a storyline where we were at an exhibit or a muse museum intern i'm glad to be here please tell me more about the exhibit in addition to our permanent collection we're borrowing rare pieces from museums and private collectors around the world Soon we'll be sitting on the most fabulous collection of Maya artifacts ever assembled in one place. And now that we've scored the monolith, too, Beach Hill Sora numero uno. Okay. Was the monolith excavated in Mexico? Yes, a hot young team of archaeologists, Americans and Mexicans both, dug it out of a cave near Palenque. Every curator from here to Siberia was trying to get a hold of it, but I'm the one who closed the deal. 
Okay. Good to know that um, the archaeologists were hot. That's a good... It really helps my mental picture. What does this monolith look like? It's a massive pillar of stone, nearly 1,500 years old, with Maya glyphs carved into it. We've installed it in the garden. Wait until you see it. Uh... What purpose did the monolith serve? According to Henrik, the monolith was made at the special request of King Pakal himself, but we don't know what its purpose was. <laughs> we just put it outside. Yeah, shouldn't it be inside? Is it protected from, like, the elements? Aren't the, uh, the glyphs going to wear down? Who's Henrik? Henrik Vanderhune, world-renowned expert in Maya hieroglyphics. He's the latest addition to the Beach Hill Brain Trust. I told him I don't even want to see his pointy Vander head till he's got a translation on that monolith. What's with these, all these questions about glyphs? Like, yeah, they're going to hold an important message. Yeah, they're symbols. Oh, I don't need to ask all these questions about glyphs. Pointy Vander head? Where was he working before? At the Chaco Canyon Cultural Center in New Mexico. Anyway... There's a list of tasks for you in the lab. Once you've knocked those off, we'll regroup. Okay. Shouldn't I have more training? Don't worry. You'll be in the swing of things soon enough. Go ahead and take a look around the museum. I'm sure you'll find the monolith, Mui and Terrasante. Or <laughs> just roll up your sleeves and hit the lab. Uh, gracias. Any last advice before I get down to business? Simper ubi sabubi. Simper ubi sabubi. Ooh, good music. What do you mean, simper ubi sabubi? What what more is there? She's pretty straightforward with it. I don't know how you have have questions about it. Okay, you guys know that I'm, I'm very smart. I know a lot of things. I'm very knowledgeable about the world. I can't say I know too much about uh, Mayan culture. I know they got a, a calendar with some interesting ideas. But outside of that, uh, I think they made a, a 3D modeling program, maybe. Art in the Americas, Hidden Guatemala. An interview with Prudence Ruther Rutherford. Uh, there, there she is. <laughs> Here she is, uh, contemplating the farm. How did a New York society woman like yourself end up in Topeka, Kansas? I don't even know. Do I need to know this? Who is this? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this when I have a bit more of a clue of what I'm, what I'm doing. How do I get out of here? Topeka Commission for the Arts. How cultured. Okay, that must have been important. Topeka Commission for the Arts. Mm -hmm. Okay, symbols. Uh-oh, I think I left the stove on. Get me out of here. Let me go, Nancy. I want to put, <laughs> put down the book. Thank you, thank you. Yes, put down books. Don't read. It's an outdated skill. Okay. Where's the... She said there was like a list of tasks for me to do. How are the tasks coming along? I haven't seen the list yet. Well, get cracking. The last deputy curator was like a tempest in a teapot around here. Caused me nothing but grief. Who was this so-called tempest? I'll tell you about Sonny some other time. Sonny? Uh. Uh. A previous intern? I guess? Previous. What's this guy's. Uh, what th what's this girl's name? Um. U yeah, Ubi. What's Ubi Sabubi's name? Joanna. 
Thank you. My boss. Ubi Sabubi. Probably a good note. I've got work to do. Carpe diem. <laughs> Ubi Joanna Sabubi. Name tag sticker? Dude, if we, when you pick Junior Detective, if everyone wore name tags, that would be so helpful. <laughs> I did pick Junior Detective, by the way. If you weren't, if you were listening and not paying attention, I said I was going to pick Senior Detective, but I did not. Uh, is this the list? Traveler's Guide to Beach Hill Museum. Okay, well, that's pretty, uh... Straightforward. I'm a little trickster. You got to watch out. Addenda to the Palenque Monolith Loan Contract between the Republic of Mexico and Beach Hill Museum. Why is this on the floor as an airplane? Uh, Beach Hill shall make two payments of uh, 250 grand. The first being paid upon execution of this contract. The second being paid 30 days after delivery of property. Duration of the loan shall be 90 days from the opening of the exhibit and no more than 200 days total. Uh, during the period of the loan, Beach Hill shall have the exclusive rights to reproduce images of the property uh, for the following derivative works postcards posters t-shirts coffee mugs keychains and mouse pads got to get those mouse pads in there uh, beach hill shall assume full liability in the amount of a million dollars for the property for the duration of the agreement dude that's a man really talked that one down five million down to a million this was unsigned unsigned maybe i'll take that I still don't know where my list of chores is. Ah. I'm in the I'm in the metro. Oh no. Oh fuck, I hate when I have to do this shit. Uh let's stay in the museum for now. Good thing Franklin gave me the museum key. Well, we were already here, but thank you, Franklin. Oh, this is cool. Where's my list of chores? Oh, damn, this is awesome. It needs a card. It's Ooh. Locked. It's locked. A nice Mayan key card reader. A nice Mayan laptop welcome to the beach hill maya mystery temple with the help of a museum guide you will learn about the maya culture and maybe even discover the hidden tomb of king pakal use your temple key card to play the different games i don't have a temple key card Do not have no key card and no list of chores. Stella of Noble. Little is known about this relief. It depicts a nobleman standing on a captive. Note the elaborate headdress and cape containing the references to Tlaloc, the rain god. This place is cool. <laughs> this place is pretty dope. This side looks damaged. 
Nancy. Ah! Or should I say, Detective Drew? I'm Sinclair. Hi, Sinclair. Oh, let me write his name down. Sinclair. Pencil stash. Uh. Who told you I was a detective? I was at a meeting with the BOD recently, and I caught wind of your appointment and your credentials. Very impressive, if I do say so myself. The BOD? The BOD? That would be the board of directors, those cranky old cats. They do keep the ducks squared away around here. I'll give them that. So, how's this for a specimen? Ever seen a million dollars worth of rock before? Uh, unknowingly, probably. But Beach Hill didn't buy this piece, did they? My understanding was that it's on loan from Mexico. Ouch. Well, they did say you were sharp. Seriously, though, thank goodness you're here. I'm afraid the museum may be in terrible jeopardy. What are... what? What kind of jeopardy? Joanna told me to butt out, but I'm so fond of Beach Hill, I just hate to see it fall prey to scoundrels. Mm. Joanna told you to butt out of what? It's a sensitive subject. Meet me in my office later and I'll explain everything then. What's... Yeah, where's your up? 707 Bing hey, Cherry Boulevard. I've got to go. Oh, Enjoy your first day at Beach Hill. Bing Cherry Boulevard? Slime Cola, thank you for the $10. I like to watch your Nancy VODs while drawing or playing video games. I never really watch your streams live, but I happen to be drawing right now while you play Nance Live. Thank you for the gentle background noise. Not a problem, Slime Cola. Good luck on your drawing. Oh, this is so weird. I'm like 3D rotating the... Interesting. Ah, oh, hmm. That's me at the museum. Hmm. Oh. Looks like this side is missing a part. Oh. Okay, how do I get out? <laughs> get out of here. Uh. I still don't know what my my duties are. I know that it's locked. Okay. Let's try and go this other. It's like a roundabout. Uh, I think that's the way we came from. Mm. Uh, they might both go to the same place. Oh yeah, I guess in the map it they it was just the uh, it was just the one little area out here. Looks like the museum is a straight shot, and we're gonna have to go visit other places via the bus. Where the fuck is my list? Okay, just more stuff. It's a subway? No, it's an employee's only room. Obviously. Ha water. A bunch of boxes back here. Oh, is this my list? No, this is like a... A list of museum objects. Details about them, I'm sure that will... Oh, I'm gonna have to like weigh and wrap shit. It's like a wrapping station? Johnny's stuff. Oh, Sonny's stuff. Oh, I can see that as S. Does that not look like a J? <laughs> oh, wow. Can't read. I can't read any text in Nancy Drew, even though it's like nice and and clear. How does that not look like a J to you? A 
I'm doing my best over here. <laughs> okay. The uh, ball game was a religious activity as well as a spectator sport. Cool. Ooh. Laboratory. Nancy, the new deputy curator. I'm Henrik Vanderhune. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. What are you working on? Just some light housekeeping. Huh? Housekeeping? Keeping artifacts clean is an important aspect of preserving them. <clears throat> anyway, what can I do for you? He is naked, okay? It's it's fine. It's a very progressive museum. Did you know the deputy curator who is here before me? Hurricane Sonny? I'm afraid I did. If he wasn't losing paperwork or setting off the fire alarm, he was cornering our visitors with his theory that the Maya were abducted by aliens. Oh, I like that. I'm afraid you'll be cleaning up his messes for a while. Now we're talking. I can't ask about that. I can't ask about the aliens. Come on. Uh, man, lots of questions about glyphs. I'm going to have to do translations at some point. Joanna turned me loose without too many instructions. Do you have any advice for me? Well, as you've probably heard, the museum is closed in preparation for the exhibit, so you'll have free run of the place. Please explore. The sooner you get to know your way around, the better. Think of the lab as your home base, your center of communications. Anyone who wants to get in touch with you will leave a note or a voicemail here, so check in often. I'm very busy with my work, so you're going to have to be pretty independent, but I suspect you wouldn't have it any other way. Can hear him very clearly through the mask. Um, okay, well, how the fuck do you translate a, gl a glyph, okay? How do you go about translating a glyph anyway? It can be a complicated process, involving research, piecing lots of different elements together, and a healthy dose of guesswork. So there isn't a definitive dictionary of Maya glyphs where you can look things up? Oh, I'm afraid not. <laughs> you see, glyphs are so intricate and full of subtleties that multiple meanings may be embedded in a single glyph. So three distinct-looking glyphs may all translate to mean sunshine, roughly, but with different nuances. There is so much we still don't know. Lucky for me, I guess, or I'd be out of a job. Thank you. I'm getting allergic to the idea that I'm going to have to do all this, like, learning and translating and shit. See you around, Henrik. Bye. Let's see here. Did I not, did I really not get, uh, oh wait. Nope. I need to just order some bubble wrap ASAP. Here we go, here we go. Sort out shards of pottery and reassemble pot at lab workstation. Oh look, there's the aliens. Okay, where's the... I need to find another piece. I need to find another piece. Uh... Oh, was there not a piece in... I need to find another piece. Oh, I need to find another, another piece. Priority, bring addenda to monolith loan agreement to Alejandro Del Rio at the Mexican consulate for signature. Do I have to go there? I haven't finished that task. Order bubble wrap, packing tape, sticky labels. Uh, hold on, I'll, I'll make that call. Two oh two five five 
five nine nine six three. Well, I do like uh, the introduction of chores. I like this more than the learning. You have no voicemails. Press nine for an outside line. Oh, I don't think I need the area code. You have no voicemail. I forgot that that used to be optional. Silvio's curatorial bonanza. Uh, may I speak may to... speak to Silvio Jr., please? This is Silvio Jr. What can I do for you? Are you still having a sale on packing supplies? That's right. 30% off on bubble wrap, foam peanuts, heavy-duty tape, medium and large boxes, sticky labels, and why supplies last, of course. Have you ordered from us before? Yes, I think so. We have an account number. Okay, good. That saves me a lot of paperwork. What's the account number? Is this exciting? Yep. BH-119K. BH-119... BH-119K? Beach Hill? Are you serious? Uh... You sound surprised. I guess you were expecting Sunny June? I was expecting Beach Hill to settle its accounts with me about six months ago. I've sent all six of the outstanding invoices to a collection agency. And you jokers won't get another packing peanut out of Silvio Jr. ever. Do not call here again. Well, uh, can I cross that off my list? <laughs> Uh, match recorded narrations to appropriate displays in the main exhibition hall. That sounds boring. Reorder Maya numbering exhibit in the main exhibition hall. That sounds like I... Can I get creative? I can't pull the... What, what was... There was a game where I pulled the fire alarm, right? And I... Was it Waverly? Warnings at Waverly where I pulled the fire alarm and <laughs> lost the game? It was worth it. Now that I'm thinking about it, let's do a quick save. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. What game haven't I pulled the fire alarm? I mean, if it's there and it's giving me the option, I'm, I'm going to pull it. Okay, let's talk to our boss, Joanna, about... Oh, shit. Uh, okay, that was odd. Um, I've regained control. How are the tasks coming along? Hmm. I guess I'm just not gonna comment about uh, the phone call I had. When did Henrik come on board? I got an email from him one day saying he heard the news about Beach Hill getting the monolith. He said he'd drop everything to come here and translate those glyphs. He was even willing to take a pay cut. What could I say except giddy up? You're hired. Henrik was the guy in the lab? Yes, that was I was thinking of Sweeney Todd, yes. Okay. Henrik. Uh lab guy. I thought it could have been Sinclair, because Henrik Henrik Sinclair sounds like a believable name, right? I'm not sure what to do with those exhibit narrations. Henrik can help you with that. Cool. I've got work to do. Bye. Bye. Okay, we're going to need headphones. 
but it shan't let me get them. Why don't we go... Oh, oh, I can go here to get this signed. Let's go talk to Sinclair, Taylor Sinclair. Oh man, I actually have to wait. <laughs> I actually have to wait for the train. It's about time. Oh, my fears are like maggots infesting my poor old carcass. Uh, Want a cookie? They're from Oaxaca. Cool tie. No, thank you. You said Beach Hill is in jeopardy. I need to know why. The art world is being ransacked, Nancy. Prudence Rutherford, a major patron of the arts, had her fire ruby necklace stolen from her villa in Topeka. This guy did it. Later, a whole display case full of rare Maya artifacts was heisted from a museum in New Mexico. Definitely this guy did it. Absolutely. Uh... What does this have to do with Beach Hill? I'm just telling you, this community, our friends and colleagues, my people are being systematically trounced by thugs. Who's to say Beach Hill won't be next? You've got to do something. Definitely him. <laughs> it's... Doesn't Beach Hill have a security system in place? The museum has a basic alarm system, but it's not exactly state of the art. I've urged Joanna to approach the board about making some security upgrades, but she just keeps saying that the timing isn't right to ask for money. It sure sounds like they need more money. Uh... With so much writing on this exhibit? How can that be? Who knows? <laughs> well, great insight, dude. Thank you. I understand your concern, but what can I do to help? We need your eagle eyes. We need your bat ears. We need you to sniff out the stink of trouble. Uh. I appreciate the vote of confidence, but I'm just a detective, you know. I'm not bionic. Don't play modest mouse with me. Don't don't say like that. Don't say. <laughs> Uh Okay, no more flattery. Hey, that's an interesting piece. There by your desk. Something tells me it's not a Maya artifact. How about that rubber shark? The artist's name is Poppy Dada. She's a teenager in South Dakota. The art world is going bananas over her stuff. I'll unload that one for some serious dinero. Poppy Dada. Should I write that down? <laughs> Is Poppy Dada her real name? I don't know. Poppy Dada. Uh, child artist. I'm sure that's... Maybe, maybe Poppy did it. I'd better get going. See you around. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go get that thing signed. Or at least try. How may I help you? Hola, dude. Buenos dias. Me llamo Nancy Drew. I have some paperwork for you regarding the loan of the Palenque monolith to Beach Hill. So, you're Joanna Riggs' newest pirate in training. How does it feel to join the ranks with the modern-day conquistadors? I beg your pardon, but how does a deputy curator become a pirate in your book? You had better brush up on your history, young lady. When the Spanish explorers invaded Mexico, they became known as the conquistadors or conquerors. 
They robbed the indigenous peoples of their wealth, not just their gold, but their artwork, their sacred objects. Anything they did not steal, they burned to the ground. Alejandro, I understand that many crimes were committed in the name of exploration, but that was hundreds of years ago. What does this have to do with Beach Hill? There is more. In the 19th century, archaeologists discovered the ruins of ancient civilizations predating even the Aztecs. Many of the dig sites were robbed, and the stolen artifacts were sold off to art museums and collectors around the world. Today, finally, it is illegal among most civilized nations to remove an artifact from its native country. But sadly, there are thousands of precious antiquities with highly questionable provenance floating around the Western world. <laughs> he gets so critical on child Nancy asking questions. Uh... Uh... But Joanna only wants to display this artwork, to celebrate it. I bet he did it. ...will be able to enjoy it and learn about your people's great talents and achievements. If the American public wants to see our art, they should come to Mexico. So will you sign my thing? What do you mean by questionable provenance? An artifact's provenance is the story of its origin and ownership. For example, how it made its way from a temple at Chichen Itza to a museum in Washington, D.C. If the artifact's provenance reveals that it has been stolen, then that artifact must be returned to the country of its origin. Then the relics at Beach Hill must all be legitimate, right? No, not at all. Provenance documents are often tampered with or forged to cover up the theft. Because of this, thefts continue and a great deal of art is moved on the black market, even today. Unethical art dealers and greedy museum curators do nothing to stop this. Well, I just need to sign on a form. <laughs> Are you suggesting Beach Hill is involved in these kinds of misdealings? If Joanna Riggs or that overstuffed pillowhead Sinclair had any decency, they would take measures to see that all Maya artifacts were returned to Mexico at once where they belong. And what if these measures are not taken? My country will have its due, Nancy, even if I have to begin reclaiming its artifacts with my own two hands. Okay. I admire your conviction, Alejandro. <laughs> Lucky for me, the Palenque monolith is only here on loan from Mexico. I am still not happy that such a rare find will have its debut exhibition on American soil. But in my country, too, there are people for whom money talks. I will take those documents now. Uh... Am I supposed to be able to read that? I guess I should give him the contract. Oh, uh oh. Thank you. I have some business with Joanna at the museum later, so I will return the contract to her then, after I have looked it over. Oh, interesting. Okay, so he's going to show up at the museum? Actually, Alejandro, I think I'm supposed to take them back to Joanna myself. You may consider your mission accomplished. Well, uh... Okay, then. Goodbye. He did it. I don't even know what it is yet. <laughs> there seems to be a problem. I feel like a lot of these Nancy Drew games, there seems to be a problem, and I'm just like, what? Uh, what is it exactly? Uh... History of ownership. Well, we have been uh, informed about that uh okay i'll just go cross that one off the list i guess is the is the colonial hotel is that where i'm staying Um...
All right. Uh, okay. Where was the... Where's my home base? Put the keys away, Nancy. Put the keys away, Nancy. Done. Okay. I need to get a piece of the pot that I'm missing. I need to find another piece. Okay, yeah, one more. I'm trying to think of if I saw it somewhere. I don't think that I did. Uh, what's the other one? Mm -hmm. Uh, reorder Maya numbering exhibit in the main hall. Well, I think... I think the laboratory guy was supposed to help me with that one. Is there a clock in this? Okay, there is time. Okay, let's let's look for the numbering exhibit. I might be able to do that. Beach Hill's been hit. Sit tight, Nancy. The police are on their way. It was her. I think she did it. They stole the entire monolith? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I should talk to Joanna before I touch anything. Why? Just go around touching shit. Come on. Someone has cooked up my worst nightmare and served it to me on a plate. I'm sorry oh, about the theft, wow. Joanna. It must be a terrible loss for the museum. That's the understatement of the year. Did the police find any clues around the display case? The police took some samples for the crime lab, but they couldn't promise any overnight results. So if you want to put your little magnifying glass up to the scene, it's fine with me. Um, my magnifying glass is adequately sized, okay? What were their initial findings? Who knows? Right now, my priority is to get a move on this insurance claim. Oh, here we go. Let's stir the pot. Do you think Alejandro would go to extreme measures, like stealing to reclaim Mexico's artifacts? Who knows? God, the responses sometimes have been uh, very helpful, actually. Why did you become a museum curator? I became a curator because I want to help make artifacts available to as many people as possible. That's all that matters, isn't it? Unless you're Alejandro Del Rio. I'm not sure what to do with those shards of pottery in the lab. Henrik can help you with that. I've got work to do. Carpe diem. Okay, let's diem the carpes. Uh, numbering exhibit in the main hall. Reorder numbering exhibit. Offering bowl. Uh, it's locked. That's it's locked. Oh, that one's not. Can I just, like, take this shit? Is it free? Oh, yeah, I'll just take that. <laughs> just, I'm just gonna... No alarms going off here. Um, should be fine. Can see. I can see how the... The thief... Uh, got a waste. Well, he had to break the glass. Uh, okay. So it appears to be some type of hand of sorts. 
Pakal artifact. This unusual jade relief features an intricate representation of Lord Pakal, one of the greatest rulers of Maya classical period. Both the origin and function of this highly stylized piece are unknown. All right. This guy's looking right at me. Where's the numbering exhibit? Numbers? Are you numbers? Oh, here we go. Maya number system. Just one more tile. Oh, do I? Okay, I guess I need both. Just one more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. I hate having to close the thing before I back out. Okay, I'll be on the lookout for the one more tile. Replicas of body shaping devices. The Maya use these devices to change their appearance. No. Yeah, like shape shifting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, a lot slower. Oh, here we go. Do I have to know the... N I might have to know the numbers. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta find the number system. No, I don't know how to count. I uh I've got I've got a phone for that now. I don't know anything. Hope I like edutainment. I like edutainment, but I will say I prefer uh to be on the tainment side. There we go. In fact, just the fact that this is set at a museum is is uh going to lower it probably on my on the enjoyment scale for, for me. Uh, it's not that I don't like museums. It's that I would, I would, I don't, I don't. There, now there we go. My adventure games, I don't want to I don't want to learn real world stuff that much. I want to learn about the mystery. I'd rather I'd rather go to the Maya Museum myself and then I could, you know, browse and learn at my leisure. I don't have any pro I I used to love going to the museum. Museum does make it educational. I want to be educated on, like, a murder <laughs> or something. When does she start solving murders? That's done. Done. Ooh, Titanic Museum would probably be cool. Nancy, something's come up and I'll be gone for a bit. Your mission, in the meantime, run through the temple activities to verify that all questions can be answered based on info available elsewhere in the museum. Oh, great. We don't want a little rascal rebellion on our hands when the next exhibit opens now, do we? Be back ASAP. Thanks, Henrik. Uh... Okay, I got that one done. Okay, so... Henrik definitely did it. 
Oh, oh, I have flashbacks looking at a periodic table. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, okay, enjoy, enjoy the tunes for a second. I got to make it to pee pee. I have had all of my G fuel. I got to make it to pee pee. And I want you to have this periodic table memorized by the time I get back. All right? There will be a quiz. I am a boy. I'm back. I'm going to start banning anybody that asks me if I wash my hands. You're all banned. Everybody's banned. <laughs> yes, step up mods. All right. You'll be really funny when streamer gets back from bathroom. Ask if wash hand. It's like a joke. Only not. <laughs> uh, okay, I need to figure out the Maya number system. You wash hand? Listen, if we want to be real about it, my my hand cleanliness is none of your business. I'm very private about the state of my hands. Uh, is that numbers? That's not numbers. If only the number exhibit had the numbers. Uh, 
This isn't numbers. And where do I do the the quiz thing? I'm supposed to take some type of quiz. I could just guess. I mean, you would think you would just start with the one line and go from there. I'm not sure about the dots, though. Uh, and where's the quiz thing? Um, what am I missing here? I'm missing... Oh, oh, wait, 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 here we go. The knob is missing. Are you kidding me? I, well, I'm missing a knob, apparently. But I've got this. So there... <laughs> so that'll... I'm sure that'll, uh... Come in handy. Come in. Need something? Can you explain how you want me to reorder that Maya numbering exhibit? Check with Henrik on that. Have you seen Henrik? I found a piece of paper inside the Pakal display case. It had some glyphs on it and a print of a red hand. I'm hoping he can give me a translation. What am I, fish food? Henrik's not the only one around here who can read a glyph, you know. Yeah, well... Sorry, Joanna. I thought I was supposed to go to Henrik with all my glyph questions. The police showed me the note. It said, The magician suffers yellow death. Whatever that means. Apparently, the thief just couldn't come up with the glyphs for The curator suffers flaming purple disgrace. The magician suffers yellow death. Should I write that down? Uh... Glyph on hand note. The magician suffers. I don't I don't think I trust her <laughs> is the thing. Uh yellow death. Round in P. I'm curious about the red handprint the thief left. Does it have any significance in Maya culture? Afraid I can't help you there. What I want to know is what the hand was printed with. It's obviously not finger paint. Why don't you do a little analysis on it in the lab? Okay. I haven't seen Henrik since the theft. Where do you think he could be? Who knows? I do think I've accused all the characters so far. Oh, no, no, not. I've got work to do. It's definitely her, though. It's definitely her. Okay, go to the lab. Do the, uh... Go to the lab, do the paint analysis, and then I gotta figure out how I do the... The quiz question thing? I don't even know where that is. How do I do not operate without permission? Well, I don't give a shit. I have permission. I forgot to put my Nancy Drew shirt on. Oh. 
Okay, I've got a graph of the chemical used for the handprint. Now I've got to match it up with a known substance. How do I... Oh, here we go. That's it! HGS? <laughs> Printed with hugs. Okay. Well, now I know who did it, so... Easy peasy. It was HGS. I don't know what this machine does. Bum, bum, bum. Buy milk! I shouldn't be messing around with this without permission. Come on, that's like your entire job. Ooh, I'm gonna be doing Morse code. Well, that's gonna be nice and t tedious. <laughs> uh. Someone mentioned this place. I don't remember why. Should I write the number down? I'll write the number down. One five oh five 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 one two two two. I'm trying to take better notes than I usually do because last game when I took notes it helped out. Okay, this I'm definitely supposed to be fucking with, but I'm not sure how. Okay, lots of lots of like locked locked boxes in here. Okay, well, let's see here. Where am I supposed to find the Maya number system if the exhibit is messed up? Am I just guessing here? No, I'm not just going to guess. <laughs> it's going to take forever. Uh, Let's see here. No, you can't just Google answers. I mean, you can Google the answer if you want. It'll just make it more frustrating when you know how to do it and I don't because you're going to have to watch me uh, struggle to get there. And where's the... Hold on, let me go read the note. Ba ba ba. Mm -hmm. Nancy, something's come up and I'll be gone for a bit. Uh, run through the temple activities. Oh, oh, temple activities. So in like the thing, in the place. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's do let's do a temple activity. Is that what this is? Oh, that's what that is. Um Oh, are these just words I got to match? Okay, well, I know. What are the... I can't examine the card. There was one on there. I guess I should be taking notes of these. There's a little, like... There's little plaques around with, with uh, glyphs. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> the worst parts of going to a museum distilled in a in a nice Nancy Drew package. Uh try your hand at this ancient Maya war game. The object is to capture all your opponent's warriors by bumping off all his her pieces. By landing on a square occupied by them. Each player has two turns. You must roll the corn dice on your first turn, but can pass on your second turn. If a warrior runs off the playing field, he will return from the opposite direction. I will play the orange warriors on the left side. The computer will play the blue warriors on the right side. You must roll for the computer. Good luck. I don't get it. Hey. So you want to go, you want to be the one that runs into the other guy, I guess. I'm screwed. Hut. Hut. Oh, you have to land immediately on the thing? Do I have to win this? Hut. 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 Hey. Hut. Hey. Hut. Hey. Hut. 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 At least we got some good music for this. Hut. 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 Okay. I didn't have to insert my thing for that. Okay. So before I play that again, I really want to try and figure out if I have to. <laughs> if I have to. So we've got that super fun game. We've got a nice uh, quiz over there. I'm going to write all this shit out. Uh Dude, history my favorite subject. Oh, I have to get it right. I can't see the next question. Oh, I was going to get all the questions and then go, like, find them in the thing. OK. 
Okay, is this thing has little audio things. Is this what I'm supposed to use the headphones that I can't get for? I'm supposed to get a knob somewhere. Okay, his setup's over here. Uh, is this it? Palenque? I guess I'll try it. Ugh. This is going to be a high octane Nancy Drew playthrough, let me tell ya. Let me tell ya. Uh, blah, 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 Maybe? Or is that just the name of the thing? Where are all the characters at? Well, they can't help us now. This game is very educational. Where does it rank on the... Uh, which is the most educational Nancy Drew game? Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I'm just going to have to keep answering, like, entering these answers. Um, name of the calendar used to compute. Just not the Mayan calendar. Can I guess Mayan calendar? Haunted Carousel. This one maybe the Greek one. The Greek one was also at a museum, so it would make sense. Yeah, this one's gonna be. It'll be interesting. Okay, we need this. I fell asleep in so many history classes. <laughs> Here's what happened a long time ago. Uh, memorize this date. Basically, just cram for the cram for the test, and then immediately forget everything. History is your favorite. That's. I mean, I wish it was. I wish I had liked it more. Because uh, obviously there's a ton of interesting things in history. And it's possible it was just never taught to me in an interesting way. 
but I don't I don't retain shit like dates. Uh, names and dates are just so tough, and that's all it ever felt like it was. Yum yum. Memorize this date for the test, then you can forget it until it's time for the final. I was more of like a science and math guy. You could have interesting, you know, go about things different ways versus just kind of like black and white, just like question and answer kind of a stuff. Yeah, I liked music too. I liked choir. Uh, what is the name of the Supreme God? Let's see here. Blah, blah, corn god, sun god, jaguar god, calendar stones. Uh, well, that is the gods section. War God. See that like scavenger hunts around an actual museum was cool because I'm actually at the museum. Uh okay. Where haven't I looked? Rituals. Just pretend. I'm pretending. Ink well. Okay. Well, here's a... Th How am I gonna... Okay. I'll do my best to draw this glyph. Okay, I'm looking for name of the supreme god. I wish I was having to like use my brain. I want to I want to get in a situation where I got to use my brain, you know? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yes, it does technically use the brain. It's true. There's the Supreme God. I like activating my logical, the logical parts of my brain. Give me a quiz over this stuff in a week, 
after I beat it. See what I remember. What is the name of a of a mo a modern Mayan language? Just pull up the VOD. Okay. It's just keeping me... It's keeping me away from my favorite parts of the game, which are the characters. There's no characters uh, going on here. Just me and the history. Yes, <laughs> Great suggestion. I will check the language area for the language question. Okay. Are you just going to pick one of these, I guess? Can it leave at least like no one else is in the museum? Just leave the thing up. Don't don't tab out of the. Should I have my card inserted? Does that matter? A lot of quiche fans in the chat. Oh, thank goodness. I have successfully completed the temple level one quiz. If I have already solved the other activities, you may now use the temple key card to descend to the next level. Okay, so once I get all the things, then I can use it to open this door. I mean, that's kind of cool. Okay, I know ink and I know black. Road, throne, north. Okay, I'm just going to keep writing down any, any of them that I see. Okay, so that means I do have to beat this. Which I'm stoked about. Oh, wait. I was going to say, can I rig it? But I guess it doesn't matter. Play against a friend. <laughs> Shine of the Silver Monkey. Dude. Legends of the Hidden Temple was so great. And you know what they did? They taught you things in a way that was fun. Hey. 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 Cool. Hut. Hut. Hey. Hut. Hut. Hey. Hut. 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 I guess kind of like gambling, yeah. Hut. 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 Hey. Hut. Hut. Can you tie? Like, what happens if you tie? Hut. 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 Oh, you can't. Doesn't look like you can tie. Hut. 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 There we go. Do I win now? Hut. Hey. Hut. 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 
はいはいバイヤー Dude I'm good at、uh, what, I, what I just did. I'm real good at it. Cool. I was totally like, watching and paying attention to. Let me save. I <laughs> know you're good at gambling. <laughs> Okay.、Uh, now I just need to know the names of more words. I know there's one on the water fountain over here. Is that. Okay, yeah. I hope you guys are taking notes. Ha, water. This guy back yet? Nope. Okay, so I need to find more word things littered around. Do you remember what the story was? What's the, uh. <laughs> what's, there's definitely someone stealing artifacts. Uh, nope. Some commentary about museums. Please stay on the path. There we go. Stay on the honest path. Those were the days. Those were the days. So, what's the one we're playing after this if we've already got seven and eight done? Boo. Remember playing this one, but you never beat it? Ooh, Danger on Deception Island. I want to play that one. Bum, bum. Sounds dangerous. I could go for some danger right about now. I don't feel like I'm in very much danger. <laughs> I do sound like I want it to be done, but like. Oh my god, it's doing it again. I'll be back into this when I'm back to like interrogating suspects and like doing shit involved with the crime instead of doing、uh, museum things. Uh, still need to find a knob. Yeah, a crime did take place. Someone stole、uh, an artifact and left a handprint note behind. Yeah, I'm feeling like I'm doing museum homework. Yeah. It's locked. Does it matter what time? Does the time matter? 
It's either 6 a.m. or it's 6 p.m. Let's go. Let's check out the hotel. Mm. Yeah, there are some games where the mystery is a bit uh, obscured. Oh, I like this. Nice looking hotel room. Oh, it's it's Togo. Togo or not Togo? Dad's friend Franklin Rose asked me to volunteer as an assistant. Oh, this is just the story. Be sure to check in with Bess and George. Need headphones. There's a strategy if I make the computer pass more. I don't think I did that at all. We can call Bess and George for fun. Why not? See what they're up to. Hello? Hey, Bess. It's me, Nancy. What's new? It's pouring rain. George and I are in the middle of a heated game of Go Fish, and I'm winning. Don't believe a word she says, Nancy. Last hand, I made mincemeat out of her. Anyway, we don't want to make you homesick. How's the internship going? Well, I'm doing homework. Doing great until someone broke into a display case and stole one of the museum's most valuable artifacts. A jade carving of King Pakal. Who was King Pakal? He's considered one of the great Maya rulers. He reigned at the height of the Maya civilization. So what happened? Well, apparently the civilization was never quite the same after he died. No, silly, with the theft. What happened with the theft? Who are your yeah. suspects? Do you have any clues? Yeah. Easy, ladies. Let's just say that so far, I have more questions than I do answers. But don't worry, I'm on the case. There goes your low-key internship. Honestly, Nancy, it never will cease to amaze me how one girl can cross paths with so much trouble. Uh, blah, 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 papers, blah, blah, blah. No, I don't think any of this is stuff I'm caught up on. I'll talk to you later, ladies. Call back soon. Yeah, and good luck. I bet it was Nancy that did it. Nancy probably did it. Okay, I can't really check anything in here. Let's go to bed. Can I go to bed? Nancy is the jigsaw killer, I wish. Come in. What you got for me today? Oh. I've got work to do. Bye. Never mind, I've got work to do. Uh, let me see what... Uh, oh, do you think this guy's going to be back? Mr. Scienceman? No. Okay, let me go see what symbols I need to learn.
I've got black ink, water, and throne. I don't even need water. <laughs> He's refusing to work until I solve his riddles. Well, I've checked all the plaques outside, right? Do we prefer when Nancy is called upon to solve a case or when she just happens to fall into a mystery? I think either, either could work. I already got ink. It just is the is the mystery interesting to you is is the question. But I'm not even like I don't even feel like I'm really working towards solving the mystery right now. I'm working towards setting the museum up. Which I like the idea that I have a job of sorts. But I kind of like when my job is the to solve a mystery. Would I rather do this or bu bug hunting? I would rather do bug hunting. <laughs> I would rather bug hunt. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Did that. So where else is the stupid stuff? It's supposed to all be stuff I can see in the exhibit. What are you guys up to? Anybody doing something interesting? <laughs> Throne. Chilling. Ooh, Cheeto sounds good. Poker sounds fun. Can I go back here? It's locked. Oh, I'm making cookies. Could go for some cookies. G Fuel's not helping me through this one, man. Uh... Okay, well, I don't think it's on any of those plaques unless it's not presented like the other ones are and I'm pretty sure I've searched hmm The jungle sounds are what's wrong with the jungle sounds? They're kinda they're kinda lulling me to sleep, I think. I already saw that one. Well could I just tell him no? <laughs> no. Uh the information's not there. Questions can be answered based on info available elsewhere in the museum. 
Uh, bu, bu, bu. Well, this isn't in the museum. What am I missing? Still don't know how I'm supposed to do the... There's no way I'm guessing here. Uh... Oh, my light just went out. It's okay, I'm in the darkness now. Okay. Yeah, there was a glyph above the, the water fountain, but it's not one that we needed. Yeah, I just I just have to find the the meaning of these symbols. Um I guess I could just brute force it. Mm, what a hamburger. What up, Mr. Cooper? It's going all right. It's going all right. A little slow start to this one, but uh I'm hoping it'll pick up once I get past this section. The key card has road on it, but I can't like see it. <laughs> I mean, I can kind of see it. Oh, I guess I could have, I guess I could have, uh, what about? Okay, so here's north. Do we need wind? North is like a guy blowing wind. Yo, dude! Oh, you. Glad we've chosen glyphs that are very easy for me to draw. <laughs> it makes this, uh... Yeah. Uh... Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. Was wind one of them? I need to go look at the... I need to go look at the thing. Ace Dormouse. Thank you uh, for the seven dollars and change. Simper Ubi Sabubi. It's Latin for always wear underwear, or another way to say be prepared. Thank you so much, Ace Dormouse. I did not not know that. Uh, Simper Ubi Sabubi to you as well. North, we don't need wind. I need road and I need 19. Road could show up on the map, possibly. Ashmane69, sorry I missed your donation a little while back. Thank you for the $2. Unfortunately, I have to work. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch your next stream. Have a good night of Drew, and I'll see you all in the VODs on Moose 2. Good night, Ian. Good night, Ashmane. You'd think ro the word road would be on the map, right? Oh, no. Road was on the card. which I can't look at. It looks like a dice, I guess. Okay, let's see if I, let's see if I can get through this puzzle.
Can't forget my card. Uh, don't need water thrown. North. Okay, so this guy's 19. Let me try and do like a rough. Ah, there's, there's so, okay, I'll just try. <laughs> I'll try. Uh, there's so many faces I have to order in the number puzzle. I don't know how I'm going to do it. It's not even the best, most close up picture of the guy. I haven't read all the subs. Uh, Rojo, I, I, uh, in narrative games like this, I sometimes save subscribers, uh, till the end of the stream, but I will read them. In we go. Is there a knob down here? Maze game offline. Enter system login and then password. Yes, I did finish Saw. Oh, fucking great. Shield Jag you are's wives. I'd be super into this if I was avoiding class to play this in the computer lab. I'd be like, hell yeah, I'll do this. Oh, what up, Kazzy? Oh, it was already here. Can't get through there. That's cool. Oh. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, really zoom in here. Exposed jawbone. Eyeballs, steals the bones and eyeballs of the dead. Death sign, should I know? Oh fuck. They really, they really had an animation budget for this. Okay. See what this one's gonna have me do.
Cool. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take notes on this. Oh my god. Okay, so the first one was high four. Dude, uh, okay, let's just try high five. I'm not sure I have the mental strength for this <laughs> today. <laughs> we need to move on to a different uh, mid four, maybe. No. I need another G fuel. How come the music stops on these games that I'm clearly going to have to spend a lot of time doing? Um, I already forgot what I guessed last time. Mid three? Okay, mid three. Looks like there's only four of them at least. Mid three. Let me do mid six, maybe. Five or six. Oh. I'll try mid five next time. Mid five, we'll do low six. Thank goodness. At least it was short. Okay, how do we get out of here? Let me out of here. If it is a code later, I have it written down. So, you know. All right, I forgot I got a floppy disk. Maybe I should go home and use the computer. I really wish the quiz would let me see all the questions. I wish I didn't have to get the questions right to see the next questions, it would make it a lot easier. Let's go... Well, let's see if our boss has anything to say to us. Need something? Nope. I've got work to do. Go to it. Watching me play this is therapeutic. I'm happy to help. I'm happy to... Good, good to know that there's uh, some value in it. Whew. Loving this one. Um... So far, definitely my least favorite setting. I, I it's it seems so similar to the Greece Museum one, which is also not my favorite setting either. And I'm not talking to anybody. Please enter my password.
<laughs> I feel like... What was that? Milk? I feel like some... Milk. Mm, I feel like some... What does that mean? Grass? Where did I find? Where did I find the floppy disk? Did I find the floppy disk in the box of stuff? Johnny's Juff. Okay, am I supposed to know the password already? Is that something I'm supposed to know? Yes. Let's see if any of his doodles helps. Aliens, maybe? It's a long-running thing? Oh, it's a long-running thing in the series. Oh. Well, there's the knob. Property of Sunny June. Pascal's Triangle... I hate that bowl game. It's all random, or is it? Choosing when I pass, when the computer passes. Four pieces of corn, different than dice. Try Pascal's triangle. Okay. Alejandro rocks. Beach Hill Gang. Blah, 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 blah. Stop breaking my stuff. Stop losing my things. Quit daydreaming. That must be, uh, what's his face? What's his name? Henrik? Get to work, Sonny. What's she got up her sleeve? It's a bunch of money. That's our boss. Hurricane Sonny. Fucking shit up. Say sing. Saw Sinclair the other day. Warning, never look directly at Sinclair's tie. I like the little the doodle of Sinclair. That was pretty good. The audio narration thing is going to be so much work. Luckily, old Hurricane Sunny managed to borrow Joanna's notes for this project. Note to self, must, must distract, distract Joanna only after her coffee break. Uh, garden. Okay, that'll help once I start this thing, I guess. Should I write that down? Oh. Here I go. I could take phone picture, but that's not very Nancy Drew of me. And honestly, at least it's a break from uh, going and looking at exhibits to find answers for a, a quiz. O C
I'm getting sleepy. I'm sure it's mostly because I filmed a video right before I streamed. <laughs> you know, you got to do what you got to do. So bad at puzzles, watching this is more fun than actually playing it. I'll take it. I'll take it. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if I like the game or not. As long as people can fall asleep while watching seems to be a main selling point. So maybe the more boring the game is, the better, actually. Assuming that's I... L. I think that's a G over there in the top right of the uh, exhibition hall. That looks like a G to me. Let me out. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed the Saw stream. I'm glad the Saw game was nice and relaxing for you. Okay, well, I have that written down. The <laughs> foot sounds. Yes, the foot sounds were uh, great ASMR. Must surf web. Sigh. Sure wish the lab had a computer. I just have to check out the latest alien adventure games. www.justadventure.com if only someone would make a game about the Maya and toss in some aliens slash UFOs, of course. This museum gig is such a boring job. Dude, tell me about it. Uh-oh, Joanna found out about the stinky cheese incident. Big trouble now. I wonder who ratted out on me. Must have been that Coco Bandit. Whoops, I hear Storm and Joanna coming over. Better hide this. I hope I get to meet this guy. Okay, now, let me out of here. Coco Kringle. Is that the password? Coco, Coco? Uh, floppy pass. It's, maybe it's Coco. Uh, Coco Kringle? Okay, well, we can try that. We can get into the floppy disk at least. Oh, 
Oh, don't spoil that I can eat too many of the chocolate bar in a game and die. <laughs> I want to play the other games. So don't give me too many good good bits of the games I haven't played yet. No? Okay, okay. It's all good. It's all good, Sam. Stuff to do, stuff to remember, stuff to forget, stuff to work on. Oh, this looks like a lot of fun. Headphones will help me figure out what is playing in the display. And the Convomatic machine and storage room will let me change what plays in an exhibit. So where am I going wrong? Oh, I should just write this down. Just write it down. Write it down. This is the... What is this? Con... Bo... Matic... Narrations. B... A... E... One... F... Six H fifteen I three K through twelve L four M two M ten O eleven Stuff to remember. Dots, bars, and gods. Sunnies, I'd rather be counting sheep guide. Well, at least this guy talks about how boring it is. Uh, Maya number system. Oh, okay. This is explaining how to do the I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the number puzzle next time I play. Temple quizzes. Can't figure out the answer to the level two quiz question about the matchmaker. Uh, just have to wait for a horde of visitors getting frustrated with the question once we open the museum. Oh, there's a level three. The demise of the ancient Maya. Drought, plague, or UFO? Why and how did Maya civilization disappear so quickly? Maya were sophisticated astronomers. Were they trying to achieve space travel? Oh my god. I, I think I might need to wrap it up. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting sleepy and lazy. I don't really want to read anything right now and I feel like I'm gonna have to do that. I am tired. I am tired and I don't want to drag, you know, I don't want to drag I don't want to drag the game down. I don't want it to make it seem make it seem less fun than it is cuz I'm sleepy. Glad you made it, Howell. R E P C in Seattle. I'll, I'll I'll look into that. Let me read my uh, subs here. I've got quite a few, so I'm gonna read them kind of quick. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. So far, not the most exhilarating Nancy Drew experience, but uh, maybe the mystery will will pick up a bit. If if aliens get involved, it's gonna be worth it. Uh, but I will be back on Wednesday. Uh, make sure to save. Thank you for that. 
Thank you, Sam Dub. I'm so sleepy. Uh, but I'm going to read some subs, and then I'm going to call it a night, and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Mm, what a hamburger. Kata Wolf, thank you for the 40 months. Uh, two antennas met on a roof, fell in love, and got married. The ceremony was nothing special, but the reception was excellent. Thank you so much, Kata Wolf. Stabler Cake, thank you for the 31 months. Good to see you. Domo Toast, thank you for the 10 months. A Rabid Gerbil, thank you for the 9 months. It's probably my last real weekend of my holiday season, and Nance is the perfect way to celebrate. Rojo 7777, thank you for the 21 months. Haven't caught a stream in a good while. Will Bingo be returning? Uh, we'll just have to see. But yeah, at some point. I, I have not worked on the next season of Bingo yet. Um, I will let I will let you guys know when it's Bingo time. Little Sushi Roll, thank you for the 51 months at work. I'm stoked for that sweet, sweet Nance VOD. Be good, Drew Crew. Klaxicorn, thank you for the eight months. Uh, Scoodler, thank you for the 12 months. Super Junior Trash, thank you for gifting that one sub. Uh, kinetic radio, kinetic radio. Holy shit, I am silly. <laughs> kinetic radio, thank you for the three months. And for gifting that one sub. Foxfire27, thank you for the six months. Lisa Loves, thank you for the 100 bits. Mechabishi, thank you for the six months. Mary Loves Mew, thank you for the 30 months. Brain Deodorizer, thank you for the 28 months. Uh, Condor Spire, thank you for the Prime Sub. Electric Kelly, thank you uh, for the 42 months. Did I figure out what the next vid I do will be? Yes, I filmed it earlier today. And yes, Lilac Wafers, we are continuing this on Wednesday. We will continue the mystery. I'm not going to leave it hanging. I'm, we're going to wrap it up. Foxy Love, thank you for the seven months. Key Lime Satellite, thank you for the 65 months. Tim Henson, thank you for the 18 months. Worm Doodles. Thank you for the 37 months. Ian, how dare you stream Nance without warning me in advance? I've been say I I've been saying I was gonna do it. I there was warnings. There was I warned. The uh flaming gecko, thank you for the prime sub. Waffles is a bunny. How's it going, Waffles? Thank you for the 88 months. Glad to catch you on one of my favorite games. Sorry. <laughs> I hope you liked Professor Hotchkiss from the last game. I did. Uh, she became so beloved by her fans, her interactive made her a recurring phone contact for some of the later games. Well, that's cool. I did like Miss Hot Kiss. Uh, sorry, sorry, I'm not really uh, gelling with this game yet, but uh, give it time. Give it time. Once I'm done doing like museum activities and I'm on to doing like mystery activities, I'm assuming it's going to pick up. Uh, something 15,525, thank you for the six months. Cybernator 2, thank you for the 22 months. Sort of Vintage, thank you for the 40 months. Jelly Bean Kruger, thank you for the 7 months. I don't remember any of this from Night at the Museum. I think I saw Night at the Museum one time. I didn't like it. I think I got bored at Night at the Museum. I would just rather go to the museum. Franken Thing, 531, thank you for the 5 months. Yesterday 1-2, thank you for the 29 months. Miss Q, thank you for subscribing. Howl, thank you for the Prime Sub. And Home Skillet Sam, thank you so much for the five months. Smithsonian was cool. I've been to at least one of the Smithsonian. Aren't there multiple Smithsonians? I think I went to Air and Space. Yeah, I, I agree that it the there's so many different settings in these games that they're not always gonna you know they're they're not always gonna land with you. And the people that love history, specifically Mayan history, I'm sure quite like this game. But for now, that is going to do it. I will be back on Wednesday to play some more. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go eat some food and maybe start uh, editing my video if I'm alert enough for it. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you guys in just a couple days. Good night, everybody. I'm going to go sleep. I know I said I was going to do other stuff, but I'm actually just going to go sleep. Bye-bye. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.